wellness is probably an individual thing. So a positive outcome for an athlete is that I can run really fast, I get my best times, so I get my personal best. A positive outcome for an academic might be that I've got the smartest brain. A positive um, outcome for a model or someone in the beauty industry might be that my skin looks better and I look, I'm more attractive as a consequence. Could be a positive outcome for someone who's trying to lose weight. We know that when you're sleeping well, you're more likely to lose weight. So positive outcomes of sleep differ according to the person. You have to understand what part of sleep that you're into. What part of you are you interested in improving? Because sleep will improve that part, I can guarantee, whatever part it is. On average, we know that a, an adult uh, above the age of 25 needs somewhere between seven to nine hours. But that's a magical number, all right? So I know I need eight and a half, but my husband only needs seven and a half. If I only get seven and a half, that means I'm depriving myself of an hour of sleep every night. And that means within a few days, I'm going to be sleep deprived and going to have all those characteristics of poor sleep. So you need to understand just how much sleep you need as an individual. Now, one of the things we have to be aware of, especially as women, is from puberty onwards, women need more sleep than men. On average, about 20 minutes, but it can be much more than that. And one of the issues women face is that they often match their sleeping patterns to that of their partners. If they do that, they run the risk of being chronically sleep deprived. So we have to be aware of what we need as individuals and make sure that we get what we need. Mm-hmm.